Hello guys, welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson number 7. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a nice little conditional formatting trick. So before we start off, let me show you what I'm trying to achieve here. Basically, I've got my four vehicle manufacturers uh, in this drop down list. And these are the features that they can potentially offer. So based on my selection, I can see all the features that are available and, and the features that are not available. So basically, I've used a index and match formula over here to, to uh, look these values up, which you can see. There's a small little drop down and I've used conditional formatting to color these tick marks and, uh, and the cross marks. So let me show you the sheet uh, from where all this is uh, derived from. So there's this master sheet. I've got my vehicle manufacturers over here and the features over here. Now you can see these symbols which I've inserted uh, from the insert tab under symbols. Select the font as windings. And as you scroll down, you'll be able to see uh, these two symbols the cross symbol and the tick symbol. Now, if you observe carefully, as soon as you insert these symbols, the font automatically changes to wingdings. So, if you try to change this font, there is a different symbol that you see. So, basically, th this means there is a different symbol which is behind this cross and behind this tick which you can see here so basically these uh, symbols can only be seen uh, only be seen if they are formatted using this font uh, windings now let's uh, go ahead and start with the lesson first of all i'm going to name uh, name these ranges i'm going to select this range go to the name box and i'm going to name it uh, probably trucks hit enter to comment similarly I'm going to select this range and uh, I'm going to name it features uh, I'll select this range go to the name box again name it uh, data so now all this three names should be available in the name box so if you select any of it the defined uh, range is selected. I'll be using these names and formulas that I write over here. So first of all, we have to somehow get uh, the relevant information in this range based on our selections from here and uh, and the uh, you know features on the left side. So I'm going to start with the index function. Now what's my array? My array is data. This is the name which we just defined right now. You can go and you can select or you can uh, directly select data because that is what we've named. Now this is our array. Then it's asking for a row number. To get the row number, I'll select the match function. This is my lookup value. I'm going to lock it in all directions. Lookup array. Now, I've, I've got a predefined name under the name of products. No, uh, I'm sorry, trucks. That's my lookup array. And I need an exact match, so I'm going to type in the zero. Bracket close. Call in the next number. Similarly, match. This is my lookup value. I'm going to lock the column reference, comma. What's my lookup array? It's features, comma, zero because I'm looking for exact match. Close parentheses, close parentheses, enter. Now I'm going to uh, copy this down. So I get all my relevant information in this uh, sheet. So based on my selection, this should change. Now, I'll select this 
go to the font and select winged image it should give us what you want so if you change the vehicle this should change the last step is to conditionally format it in such a way that uh, the ticks should always be green and the crosses should always be red in color so uh, I'll go to the insert tab symbol I'll insert this over here similarly I'll do it one more time you don't actually need to do this but just to show you I'm going to I'm going to do this all right so basically you can copy this beforehand this we're going to use in the conditional formatting tab so I've copied this I'll select the whole range where I want the conditional formatting to be applied under the conditional formatting tab I'll go to new rules and I'll create a new rule using a formula is equal to p2 is equal to this inside inverted commas so basically this symbol stands for a tick which we want green in color so I'll go in the formatting tab under the font tab I'll select the color as green okay okay similarly with the cross I'll select this copy this select the whole range go to the conditional formatting tab new rule use formula to determine which cells to format is equal to b2 is equal to open inverted commas paste close inverted commas this we want red in color so under the font tab I'll select red ok you don't really need this so if you want you can go ahead and delete this yeah so now the colors are applicable so based on your selection this should change uh, based on the master sheet I hope my video helps thank you